Hello there everybody, Daniel, your art director at Good Vibes Gaming here with something a little different today. Uh, we're going to be taking a first look at an alpha build of a little indie title called Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus. Uh, this game is in development by Squid Shock Studios, led by Christopher Stair, and it's described as an atmospheric metroidvania based on a fantastical ancient Japan. I've been in talks with Chris here and there and after the game was announced, but uh, you might be seeing a little bit more buzz about it now that their Kickstarter just launched. And I say I just launched, but at the time of this recording, they've already been fully funded, which I heard the team was not even prepared for. Uh, I'll leave a link to their Kickstarter and social media below, but yeah, we've both been excited to get the word out because from what I've seen and heard of the game, uh, it's been looking really fantastic. But you know, how about we just jump right into it so I can show you what I mean. And uh, I did boot the game up and walk to the first save point just to make sure everything is in order, but the vast majority will be me jumping in blind. And so, drifting tier of moon, where bamboo of crimson loom, a teal lotus blooms. And that's us! This is Bo! Now, Bo is a uh, Tentai Hana, or a Celestial Blossom, that descended from the heavens to play a key role uh, in a mysterious ancient ritual. And, alright, we can walk around, we can jump. I believe that's it for now. Oh my. That is... May or may not be a friend. And yeah, this is as far as I got. I believe this is... Save point. You just stop by for a little sip of tea. Which I love. Oh, okay. Oh, now we're moving. Do I want this? I do want this. Oof. Hold jump to go higher. Oops. And... I'll get like a little roll when I land. I think that's all I can do at the moment, is just jump and run around. Now, um... This game here... My attention was first brought to it when, um... Oh! That's not good. <laughs> oh, I just bloomed back in place. There's my health in the corner, I can see now. Uh, my attention was first brought to this when um, a friend of the developer, Chris Stair, told me that they were making their own game. Oof. Uh, they used to go to school with them and watch them do art, so it must be such a cool feeling to see a friend of yours take a leap into such a massive project, and to see it get so many eyes now. Oh my gosh! I, <laughs> I don't know how I dodged that. I, I, I know I want this, but I can't get it. Now saving. We all need to stop for tea sometimes. And it's got such a beautiful hand-drawn art style as well. Um, the whole game is hand-drawn, which I always love in any title. It honestly gives such a unique and genuinely passionate feel, in my opinion. Um, the team mentions that they were inspired aesthetically and musically by games like Celeste, Okami, oh, Paper Mario, and as you might be, as you might have determined by now, also inspired by Hollow Knight. Asahi. Ew. What do we have here? A diminutive demon in a dress, dainty and, dainty and derivative. I must say, the celestial spit ejected from the heavens this evening is especially injurious and so incredibly tiny. My respect for the kami evaporates with your every exhalation. Now be gone, you backwards beast, to the bamboo thicket you bumbled out of. I, I love how you hear a strum of an instrument in a different tone, in a different style every time the text box comes up. And I will spare you from an expedited exorcism and further assault of alliterations. <laughs> Sorry? Wait! That earring you wear. Now there is something of interest. How did one of your... How did one of your stature come across it? Perhaps I've underestimated you. Please drink this. It should unlock the true form of that earring you wear. I will... I will take your tea, sir. Oh. <laughs> Am I awakening? 
Your earring has transformed into the Equinox Staff. Hold up, down, left, right to attack in the direction. Press X or left mouse click to attack. You can attack enemies as well as some objects in your environment. Oh, so now I have... Whoa. Whoa, that's a big range. I am... I'm equipped now. Oh. I should have foreseen the sap growing feeble from rotting in your oversized yet inferior ear. Have you seen these young crimson bamboo in the forest? You should be able to harvest those to use as reinforcement for your staff. Go back and harvest 10 bamboo bun bundles and bring them back here. I shall then turn that dainty toothpick into something slightly more respectable, out of pity and no other reason. My quest log has been updated. Wait, no. There we go. Oh, okay, okay. We got key items, we got our quest log. We must uh, restore our stat by having 10 crimson uh, bamboo bundles. Oh boy. I see it's got all the controls for whether we're using the controller or the keyboard. I'm using the controller right now, so. Love all the little sound effects. I can't. I can't get through, okay. So we're collecting items. Do we craft materials? Do we, oh my gosh. Um, I'm assuming that's not something we're gonna deal with immediately. <laughs> Man. I really love the, uh, man, Japanese folklore can be so creepy and yet fascinating and mystical. It's such an ethereal feeling that they have. I think that's what pulled me into Okami so much as well when that first came out. Wait a minute. Oh, what the heck? Can I... Uh, what is this? It's... Oh my god, it's a friend! He's so happy! Man, that shadow is still walking in the background. Oh, okay. Get my bearings here. Woo! As I mentioned earlier, um, they really smashed their Kickstarter goal really soon after it launched, and they're already reaching stretch goals. I gotta note that um, the game will be on PC, uh, which is what I'm playing right now, and the uh, Nintendo Switch version was actually a stretch goal that got met. So if you got a Switch, you're set to enjoy this when it releases. There's no concrete release date yet, but I do recommend you keep up with them on social media if you're intrigued. Ah, you've completed my request. Obedient to a fault, like a dull puppy. Perhaps you should be, perhaps you could be of some use to me in the future. But for now, hand me those bamboo bundles. Sure. That should do it. Now try to forge a new path forward through those burly bamboo and meet the misshapen creatures beyond. It may be dangerous to go alone, but so be it. Dangerous to go alone? Take this! I found the old tea kettle! Uses the stored teal tea. Foxfire will fill your teapot until it is full, at which point it will overflow with your fire, foxfire counter in the UI. Left trigger to drink the tea. Oh. Okay. So that's how you heal. I'll figure that out soon enough. And hello. <laughs> Tis Tus, the previously foreshadowed misshaping creatures. Bet you didn't expect more dialogue boxes so soon. <laughs> Aren't they pretty though? Thou, though, thou, though. Please ignore the incoherent babblings of my unfortunate appendage. He claims to be able to see beyond this realm, but it is perhaps immediately clear to you that he spouts nothing but nonsense. Squawk! A vision this way comes! See, do I, a well dressed rodent, swinging a, full col a colorful stick and strike this paper lantern spirit. It is then they will find themselves able to jump once again in midair! Ravings of a lunatic. 
Oh, so it seems... I think I did that early. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I guess it should be mentioned to everyone that sees this right away. Um, oh. Oh, an auspicious coincidence. Or something more. I forgot which bird was saying that. <laughs> um, to those who probably have already played it, this is quite inspired by other indie titles. Uh, one notably by uh, Hollow Knight, as I am noticing from here. I can already get into a bit of a groove. But that game did not allow you to jump again after pogoing, so... FRIEND! That is one difference. Which is kind of nice. Oh! Hi. Sorry, I'm just experimenting. Woo! Wait, was there something this way? I guess not. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, something that happened, uh, something really cool that happened was that uh, Yacht Club Games gave a shout out to Bo. Uh, their next new title, Mina the Hollower, just got announced and launched their own Kickstarter just the other day, right around the same time as this game. Ooh, that's not a good person, is it? No! Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, uh, Squid, uh, Squid Shock Studios is a small team, including four. <laughs> uh, of four, including the, the lead programmer, animator, the composer. And also, uh, Chris Stair himself, the lead designer. So, really cool to see. Really heartwarming to see fellow devs raise each other up uh, for projects like this. Both games, as you may know, are fully funded now. Okay. Can I... Oh. Oh, no. Meant to jump down this way. Oh my gosh! I am I am flailing right now. I somehow didn't get hurt from that. Let's collect some more. It's like we're foraging. I always love collecting things to forage with. Oh. I quite enjoy the audio of this game already. Everything that you unlock has a, a strum of the shamisen, if, I, if I'm sitting that correctly. It's just so atmospheric as well. A friend? I'll save you! They're so happy. <laughs> Wait. Oh, did I need that guy to get up higher? I might have. Um, wait, can you come this way, please? I need your assistance. Oh, no. Wait, I can still use maybe? Ah, there we go. Woo! I need, oh, I need some, uh... Oh, I need some tea. Well, that's cute. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to take a stop for some tea. Okay. The fox is back! Bolder, braver, bouncier! I remain unimpressed. I've seen even the most uncivilized yokai move with more grace and elegance than that. But perhaps elegance is only part of the equation. Show me something with a little more destructive power, and you'll have my interest. <laughs> a vision! It comes to me in glorious 4K <laughs> resolution! <laughs> the curious fox is thee! Bo beats the bug! One, two, three! Into the air it flees! Seek after it, and then press and hold B! Or the right mouse button. This, this bird is gonna break our- is that the one that's gonna break our fourth wall? Is that bird gonna tell me when the demo's over? Oh, did I did I miss that? Um, um. I'm sorry, friend. I think I need your help. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so. Whoa. Okay. Interesting indeed. It has been as it has been foreseen. 
How do I... Hold on, I, I, this is for science. I'm sorry, friend. I need you to be a ball. Okay. Whoa. Well, see you later. Gotcha. So you can interact with the environment this way. Hold the A button and launch my friends, I suppose. Oh. Oh, gosh. Just don't worry. Don't worry. We have plenty of tea. Um. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I probably timed that wrong. Eh. Hold on, I got this. There you go. Uh oh. Uh. 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 Oh, that's tricky. Hold on. Oh gosh, <laughs> I didn't mean to roll in there. There's some tight timing for this. Oh, I'm doing that wrong. Okay, I know what's going on. I should probably drink more tea. Oh, not enough tea for the rest. Okay, so we jump, we hit, then we jump again. I was jumping too early, I see. Oh, I saw you this time. Um, oh. Oh. oh wow. I swing really fast in the air. This poor friend. <laughs> that way? Oh. No! I got this. Oh. Wait. I don't know if that's a good pit or not. Ah. Love the effects. Love, love the foreground, background. Such a nice looking game, honestly. Oh, can I? There you go. Uh. Oh, gosh. I hear them whining. So they can only be broken by... Oops. By these guys. Wait, oh, that's a... <laughs> that's a wall. <laughs> My mistake. Just playing tennis with my friends over here. <laughs> you got another vision! A fox flees freely over gaping canyons. Teal petal showers in their wake. Pure poppycock. Um. There's nothing... Uh, was I meant to fall? Oh, hello! <laughs> I'm back. Well, 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 if it isn't my little tea kettle thief. You gave it to me! Where do you get off running with the possessions of a superior higher being? Again. Ahem. Excuse me, that was rude. I haven't had my tea for a while. One can find themselves quite irritable without it. So, this is when you hand over my teapot that you ran off with. No? Greasy, grubby, greedy, commie dropping! Did you just call me... You know what? Keep the pot. It is an infinitely... As an infinitely benevolent being, a deal can always be made. I am feeling a bit weary for not having a steady flow of teal tea this evening, and the ingredients are so tedious to come by. In this cave to my right, there are a few ingredients that I need to make one especially potent brew. I might even share some with you if you hurry. Enter, little one. Procure, procure for me 75 fox flames, 20 teal ore, and one giant arma, arma pillow eyeball. Arm a pillow. I 
I don't think I can get over there. Oh, pff, yes, I can. Um. Oh, wait, that's really far. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> just slapped him. Okay, I I don't think I can go that way right now. Let's go in the cave first and see what happens. Pardon me. Uzumaki Cave. So I did hear from the... Uh, I, I was told when I received this um, alpha build that there's a section of this area that causes long load times. Maybe like 10 seconds or more. Which they are in development and, and working to fix. So if we get stuck in an area for a long time with a long loading screen, I don't I don't think that's the end of the world. They are aware of it. Ooh. Um Should I have gone right first or left? The staff is very versatile. The bow staff is quite versatile. Um, a set of lavish offering tables. Four of them are empty. Someone is definitely crying. Can you hear that? Um, sir, ma'am? Are you okay? I don't think I can do anything here right now. If we find something to offer here, we'll come back, but <laughs> I hope they're okay. <laughs> They're quite upset. Woo, woo, woo. I really enjoy the fact that you can jump again after you hit something. Gives me a little more um, air control. Movement might be a little slow, but I'm sure it's because I don't have any other like abilities as of right now. Wow, you can swing really fast too. Um. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! That was close. I don't like this area. I'm just using instinct here. Man, you swing really fast when you're in the air. Open up. Oh. I just... I want to know who these are. I want to keep one. <laughs> okay, I guess this was just here for a friend. Oh. Jeez. Hold on, tea time. Need some teal tea. Ding! I do enjoy, oh my gosh, the sound quality in this. Gosh, it takes me right back to playing Okami. Such a, oh, hello. Um, you're not a good rock. Wait, uh. Oh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. There's a friend in need over here. Ah! Thank goodness friend was here to forget the fact that- I Oh my gosh. You need to stop, sir. Let's do it this way. Oh boy. Very nice. So, I was listening in on Twitch the other day uh, to the guy's- just commenting on their successful Kickstarter launch, and I did overhear that the uh, the alpha may seem a bit linear, but they do intend to expand the exploration a bit more, to be a bit more expansive when, um, as you delve deeper into the game, and I think this is where there's a bit of a long load time. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure here. Wasn't sure we had to reload here. 
Let's just save just in case. Ah. I wonder what teal tea tastes like. Uh, hello, Toshi. Order, order, I demand order, order, or. Oh no, who am I kidding? It's all a mess recently, ever since. No, no, no. Snap out of it, Toshi. You can do this. Deep breaths. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Toshi is back. Excuse me if I seem a bit off. It's just that my precious armor pillows have rolled off again. I seem to have no ability to make anyone stay. Could you please help me find them and bring them back to back here? There are four of them, and they're somewhere in this cave. Above? Below? I don't really know. Listen for their squeals. They're probably so cold and alone without their fungal father to watch over them. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Ooh, so we got 41 bamboo ores. Bamboo bundles. 18 teal ores. Life lotus. Tea kettle. Oh, we're also finding ingredients. I guess we're going to find that in here as well. Um, he said above and below. Well, I was going to go this way. So yeah, I, I, I guess exploration isn't really something that would demo well. So they went for the beginning of the game, which is going to be linear anyways. A bit more linear. For something called Arma Pillows, they don't look that soft and cushy. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Huh. Oh, I got him. Oh, oh. Oh, there's a lot happening. Oh, there's a lot happening. I... Oh, okay. I think because I'm using the control pad, it was just pointing to eight directions, but you can aim that anywhere. Oh, he's wearing like a little cloth. I must, I guess you're one of his four friends. Oh, um... I gotta fine tune this aiming. Okay, you're, you're, you're good. <laughs> Sir, ma'am, you need to. I, oh, I just gotta, I just gotta ping pong you all the way back. I guess so. Um, where are you? Uh oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait. I feel so bad. I guess they're not getting hurt by this. Oh, I see. It's gonna take a bit to load each time. Woo! Okay. Oh wait. <laughs> I guess he didn't come all the way back himself. Go to Papa! Inosuke, stubborn yet you can't stay away. Welcome back! Well, we got one of them. Um, what about this way? Let's, let's try seeing if anyone's over here instead. Oh boy. still early, but I can see where Traversal will come into, into play with just the staff alone. Okay. I hear- I heard a squeak. Are you over here? Ooh. There you are. Um. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. How am I supposed to get you across and also... Ah! Uh, okay. Hang on. I like how I just bloomed back into existence. Oh no! 
No, I forgot what button was jump. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I need more tea. Okay, I can figure this out. Oh, okay, so the goal was just to get Hugh across, I see. Eh. Just wanna walk you. Is this okay? Return home. Tanji Tanjiro. <laughs> I knew you would come back. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um Am I about to go find Am I about to go find Nesuko next? <laughs> I just noticed the, the pattern of the of the clothing that Tanjiro was wearing. And Inosuke too. How funny. Oh. No, you're not Nesuko. Wait, go inside. Go inside. No. Oh, I'm messing it up. Oh, I'm out. Oh my gosh. That was hard. But I, I, I just learned just how flexible that using this slowdown can be. Like, I'm, I'm sure this isn't the only thing you're going to be able to use that mechanic with. Being able to connect um, this with your with your bouncing and pogoing on your bow staff. It's gonna be a lot to do. Whoa! <laughs> Zenitsu! You look like you've seen a ghost. The demons won't hurt you now. <laughs> okay, I assume now we're gonna find Nezuko. That's pretty funny. But I mean, it tracks. Uh, along with being inspired by games like Celeste, Hollow Knight, um, Okami, Paper Mario. Uh, it's also, I'm assuming, also aesthetically inspired by things like um, Attack on Titan. Oh. Uh, of, of course, Demon Slayer. And Studio Ghibli movies like Princess Mononoke and Spirited Away. All this info you can find out and more on their Kickstarter. I didn't go further in this clave, so it must be... Oh my gosh. There's a lot happening. I guess I should have been using the control stick from the beginning. No! It's all quiet now. I think I hear her. Where are you? Oh. Aw, I don't have a key. Did I go the wrong way? Oh my god. Pardon me, I don't want any of it. Huh. Wait, I heard the sound though. Oh, do I have to go down here? Um. Oh, I see. They are down here. There she is. <laughs> I can just tell by the clothing. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, I should have broke that. Oh! I need to watch what I'm doing. Right there. All right, Nizuko. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Oh, need my tea. We'll get you home. Keep her out of the sun. 
do not expose to sunlight, please. Uh, there you go. All right. Second one more, another one of those longer loading screens. Again, they uh, they are aware of this and they are working to fix it. Uh, we're still in alpha, so that aside, it's still pretty cool to see just how much they've been able to accomplish in their alpha. And now the fourth, <laughs> Nezuko, you've returned. Sinitsu <laughs> will be pleased. Indeed he will. One, two, three, and four. Would you believe it? They all came back! Did you have something to do with it? Ever since I met you, things are looking up for Toshi. Yeah, they all seem to have different instruments, or at least some of them do when they're speaking. And I, I, I think I noticed when he was, maybe it's just me, but when he was more frantically talking when we met him, the, the notes were a bit more erratic as well, but now they're a little bit more calm. Oh, a key! You'll receive the shiitake. Sh shiitake? Shita <laughs> the shiitake. Oh, okay. So he wants me to go and... Where that locked door was. For a particularly... Rowdy armor pillow, I'm assuming. I'm not even gonna touch the floor. Well, until here. Oh gosh. Oh, please. I'm just trying to get through. Okay. Here we are. I'm assuming we're going to fight something. Oh, you're, um, big. Hi. Oh, oh my god! The particularly unmanageable armakillo. That's more concerning. Oh, wait. Ah! I'm assuming I would probably want to hit him with that instead. What? I broke it. Ah! I don't know if this is going very well. Um... Oh my gosh. You probably don't want to do that. Oh! Hang on. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That did not go very well. Wow, that armakillo is particularly unmanageable. Okay, let's try again. I think I got it. I think I got the idea. You're gonna, you're gonna come out at me. Oh, that does work a lot better. Oh, I gotta not get greedy. It's a lot of hits. Okay, here we go. That's the stuff. Oh, oh man. I don't got any more tea. I can't actually heal anymore. Oh, hello. Um. Wait, I can get more tea this way? <laughs> oh, there's so much stuff. Heal, heal boy. in the hang of it. Uh. Stop being so unmanageable. Oh my god. No! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't see there was someone in the ground. No. <laughs> okay. Takes a lot of hits. Wake up. 
go ahead. Do your thing. I'm gonna whack you this time. And then don't want to linger there too long. And you're probably gonna hop up right now, right? I'm looking forward to seeing all the tricks people can do with the slowdown mechanic and just hopping around with bow. Oh! I keep forgetting! I can't stay there too long. I gotta just balance myself here. Oh, oh. I see you there. I see you! I didn't see you around the side. Oh, did that knock him down? Oh, we got him! Woo! Wow. This is... Not a clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a giant armor pillow eye. Why did I think it was a clock? Wow, that was pretty chaotic. No problem. Nothing Bo can't handle. Some well-deserved tea after that. Oh, hello. I was tired of waiting. Have you found my ingredients yet? Yes, yes, yes! Hand them over quickly! Now, as I promised, you can have you can drink a bit too, but only a sip. Fine by me. I know people who definitely get their powers from drinking tea, so I can kind of relate by proxy with Bo. Oh, little hands, little paws just sticking out. The Lotus Dash. Tap right trigger or left shift to dash quickly in the oh mid air dash. Now the rest is for me, but remember, with every sip of my teal tea, a latent gift will be set free. Now leave me be, go see what else there is to see. I suggest you exit this musty cave the same way you came in. That's fine by me. Whoa! All that... That just looks nice. And feels nice. I love the teal colors. Ah! Gotcha. Wait, so can you jump, jump, dash, hit, jump, dash. D oh, no, don't dash into them. I don't think this is the right place to experiment. Oh my gosh! I don't know how I instantly hit that. I think we're just gonna exit the way we came. As our fox friend has told us. Wow, getting the mid-air dash really early. Makes you wonder what else uh, you get so soon. Okay. Now, this is still, still in the way. Now we're just hopping. I actually don't know where I came from. Do, do you remember where I got in here? Oh, but I should have realized. We weren't supposed to leave until we got that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Please. I just want to leave. <laughs> no. Let me drink my tea in peace. What? I did not mean to dash. It's so sensitive. I almost missed that. Okay, we're back in the forest of the crimson bamboo. Give a little tea. Oh, okay. Now I understand. Hop, dash. Hop, uh... Can I? Interesting. 
you just have to do a hit at all, and it'll let you bounce off. Wait. There you go. It's teaching me. I'm learning. I'm... I didn't learn well enough. I... I <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Now I just need to... Oh! A fox flies freely over Kakeem and Kenny's teal petal shower in their wake. He did know! The teal petals. Undeniably unbelievable. It's the end of the demo. Perhaps it's time to start believing. What wonders way... What wonders lay beyond this trivial gap? I foresee raging waters, a bustling metropolis, origami fever dreams, and an omnip omnipresent looming darkness. But alas, the Kami are still developing it. <laughs> and even then, they need a, ha a helping hand every now and then. Consider contributing to help the Kami kickstart this game and be a part of the creation of this world. <laughs> it's just, it's just right there on the screen. Oh, and it took me immediately to the page. So at the time of this recording, um, the pledge goal was 35,000 and they have almost twice as much, 63,340. So they are already reaching their stretch goals. Um, some of which they're not even sure of just yet because they're reaching them so quickly and funding this, this project so quickly. But, uh, but yeah, that appears to be the end now. Um, have any more tea? No, I can't because I'm not hurt. All right, everybody. Well, that wraps up this first look into Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus. Uh, it looks fantastic so far. The atmosphere is already pulling me in and the music is wonderful. Uh, the gameplay feels maybe a bit slow at, at the moment. It's, of course, it's an alpha and this is only the first half hour or so of the game. So there's plenty of room to grow, but I can definitely see where the mechanics can start to weave together for some satisfying movement through the world, which you might have seen me learning just playing around with it. As mentioned, uh, they very recently released their Kickstarter and it was fully funded before we even got the, this video recorded. So Squid Shock Studios is a four person team led by Chris Stair. Please show them some love um, using the links in the description. I personally think we're in for something pretty special here. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Good Vibes Gaming for more on all sorts of games, whether they're from big studio titles or smaller indie endeavors such as Bo. If you enjoyed what you see here, please consider supporting us on patreon.com slash gvgaming. That's all for now. Till we meet again.